fixture. I got mine right here, the one brand that I support. And I want you to plug it in. Make sure it's plugged in. You got that right. Okay, and now follow me. I'm going to do the same thing too. I'm going to plug mine in and show you why having a fixture with high PUR emitters focused is important. You guys still with me? So here we are over at our little testing station here in American Aquarium Pops. And look, I got my, there's what it looks like, kind of right, I'm sure, on that camera. We got 10 emitters of high PUR, and we got some color mixed in here. Yeah, you can't see red and green, but trust me, it's in there. I'll show you the spectrogram. Take your picture and watch this. You ready for it? Uh, uh oh. Oh no. It fell in the tank. Everybody okay over here? Uh oh! My, my fixture is in the tank. What happened to your fixture? Hmm? All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. Well, I'm not going to dump my LED in the aquarium like he's doing. That's just silly. But let me tell you, we're working with aquariums that have high humidity. Whether you dunk your fixture in the aquarium or it sits over the aquarium, over time, humidity is going to wear down that fixture. Some other things I know you're thinking, well, you're probably going, oh, that LED is so small compared to the bigger cheaper LEDs and the footprint is probably not going to give me what I need for my aquarium. Well if you're thinking this way about LEDs you are completely missing the boat about PUR. If you get just a little bit of light even with a lower PAR value you are still getting plenty of PUR which will grow things that we're used to growing at higher PAR. This means we can get away with smaller fixture footprint which will give us more precise lighting instead of over blasting our aquarium with just a bunch of light. why having no fan is important? See why waterproof is important? See why high PUR is important? You guys with me yet? Uh oh. Oh, and wait a second. It's in the tank? Five year warranty. How long do you guys have? Hmm. Okay, you guys get my point now. High PUR is not just about coloration. It's not about high useful light energy. It's about what also provides the fixture once LED on the market that you can throw in the water and have it be still working. Waterproof, imagine that. We're in a hobby where we deal with water every day and my fixture is still 